I got here, it was in January. Uh, I got off the Greyhound bus because I, you know, I sold my car. It was through the cold and that's where I slept and ate and, you know, survived. I was trying to do things different and, uh, you know, I wanted that second chance. So as soon as I got here, I started work at a restaurant and I was just a dishwasher. And uh, it was just open. It was, I was just getting back on my feet and then COVID hit. And then once COVID hit, you know, I lost that job. And then I kind of went into a kind of a depression myself, you could say. Uh, right now, life is great. Um, I'm working at HVAF. Uh, this is the same agency that, you know, got me back on my feet. So I feel like that's a blessing. Uh, right now, I'm just working out, still volunteering my time uh, on the weekends when I can to help out other veterans. There has been instances where we have helped vets in those apartments and we have seen some grow and we've seen some decline. And the hard part is we are the ones that got to go in the rooms after these guys have an accident or if they are leaving. So it's kind of bittersweet if it's a success or they have a, maybe an overdose or something like that. That's one of the things that happens and that leads to a death and that hurts us because we, you know, we there every day with these guys helping them out. It's one of those things where it's so hard to treat psychological wounds because I, I run into vets where I do have a lot in common with them where we share, you know, those same patterns with PTSD and mental trauma but it seems like there's no solution or answer to those problems sometimes. Even if there's help out there, it's more of a continued therapy thing. And I feel like there's nothing where it's a concrete science that's gonna give a cure to that kind of, you know, mental, when it comes to something mental. It's, it's that's why I say it's hard to find somebody who's gonna be on the same wavelength as you when it comes to dealing with issues on an everyday level when you're a veteran. I just, I struggle to deal with it every day. And, uh, you know, there's religion and uh, there's other ways to, you know, kind of deter yourself from thinking like that. But yeah, I, I don't think there's no definite answer to fixing it. It's, a, it's an ongoing journey. You know, it, it's 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 taken me a lot of time just to get to a point where I feel comfortable in my own skin. You know, uh, that's exactly the reason why I left Indiana the first time was to go and sort of grow and discover myself. And on that journey of self-discovery, I ended up back here because I wanted to come back here and make a difference. And now that I'm here, it, it's weird because like you said, I'm isolated and there are people in the organization who are great, but when it comes to a personal relationship, I just can't seem to find that in anything or well, in when it comes to just one person being on a, I think it's a question of trust. That's what I'm trying to say. I think that's what it is. Just let people know when it comes to any type of hopelessness, you know, there's no such thing as a uh, failure until you quit, you know? And everything I've been through in my life, the only thing that kept me going was the fact that I didn't let my mind, I guess, beat me. You know, I feel like we let our, our, our mind can play tricks on us. And uh, right now, you know, there's a battle in everybody's head, you know? They, they feel like the world may be tearing itself down or be a bad place or, you know, maybe difficult right now, but it's always been the same way it is. It's just, I think with chaos, there comes a time where people lose that control, that common sense part that everybody got. So if I was to say anything, you know, it's to keep your feet on the ground, you know, and uh, well, well, just believe in God, you know? Well, I've noticed the most that people seem to want to get better, I guess you could say, because it seemed like the mood before was way more depressing and uh, eerie. It seemed like people got more of a glimmer of hope, you know, like the uh, 
they more uplifted. You know, they starting to come out of the, uh, they kind of man caves, you could say. Like more jobs are popping up for them and they taking the initiative to want to, I guess, get out of the houses that we maintain. Honestly, uh, for everybody, I hope that we can get back on track financially uh, as a country. You know, I, I want the economy to get back on track first and foremost. Uh, I think education needs to be uh, the second thing, you know, especially once people get on their feet, taking care of kids needs to be a, the top priority too. So it's kind of like, I want all those things to fit into one. So we can start putting everything back on track and put all the, you know, connect all the right dots and cross all the right T's and all that. And once we do that, I feel like we can move forward as a country.